3 million subscribers. Thank you very much uh, to the fans, my family, wife and kids, and also to everyone past and present who have helped make content on this channel, behind the scenes, in front of the camera, everyone. Also, 15 years of Angry Nerd, 13 since YouTube. I'm so glad you're still watching after all this time. A lot of people say they grew up on watching my videos, and some people would say, well, that makes me feel old, but that means I've become retro, and I'm happy about that. That's like the ultimate honor, to have something that people still enjoy after all this time. So that means a lot to me. And the irony is that while playing such an angry character, I have nothing but peace and love for everybody. Even though the nerd videos use negative energy for entertainment value and comedic effect, I hope the experience on the other side has been positive. And from what you all told me, it has. So lots of people write me and say really nice things. Um, they say, you know, they share an experience like I had a shitty day or something bad was going on in their life and the videos helped them to laugh. And that's the most important thing. The purpose is to have that escape. There's tons of horrible stuff going on in the world, but this is where you come to talk trivial, fun stuff, whether it's discussing opinions on movies or the history of some obscure game console. And... Hopefully have a good laugh here and there. So that's the big reason why I still do it. But there's also the fact that producing consistent web series is my job and the nerd is the biggest draw. Uh, I have to support my family. I have two little girls who are dependent on me. So the fact is, if I wasn't doing this, I'd have to find an another line of work. So why not keep the nerd going? Um, there's no plans to end it anytime soon. Whenever that day would come, I'll let you know. Um, the people at ScreenWave are helping a ton. They're bringing games and ideas to my attention. They're shooting here in the room with me and editing. Um, we're always coming up with funny things to keep the series fresh. So we'll have some more surprises on the way. Still doing rental reviews, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I just can't get enough of those. Those are a total blast. Um, also, we're a big step closer to bringing back the You Know What's Bullshit series. So it's possible they could start rolling out again by the end of the year, hoping. On top of that, I've been working on my personal projects. The last update, August 2018, I mentioned my atmospheric horror film and my book. So first, the horror script. I'm happy to say that um, I have a script. It's written. Uh, the unfortunate part is that it's going to take a long time before I can even start uh, beginning the production of it. So uh, at the very moment, there just doesn't exist any extra time to devote to a big project like that. But uh, sometime there will be. Um, so most likely the book will come out first. Uh, here's the good news with the book. Guess what? It's also written pretty crazy. If you're new to it, it's an autobiography titled A Movie Making Nerd. It covers my whole life chronologically from childhood till now. Its main focus is on filmmaking, but also it's about life experiences in general. So I hope you'll find the things I have to share valuable and inspiring. As I mentioned last time, I've been writing for a long time. Uh, I bet the, the book originally was on floppy disks dating back to 2001, so that may seem like a long time to be writing a book, but I had to live it first. Uh, currently, I'm looking into publishing options, which is that uncharted territory. That's the, the great unknown for me. So uh, I haven't had much free time, but I am looking into it. Uh, so in a nutshell, it's probably going to be a while, but much sooner than the horror film. If those projects are something you're interested in seeing happen, I really appreciate the waiting. Uh, thanks for sticking around for so long. Uh, I'll close out with a VHS clip I found in my archives uh, of myself from early 1999, slightly over 20 years ago. I think this really sums up my younger self. All right, now making movies is my personal interest. There's nothing I would rather do, and it's what I live for. What a goofball. <laughs> um, my younger self had no idea there would exist this thing called YouTube eventually and uh, that I'd have a channel with 3 million subscribers. So thank you once again. I would tell my younger self, hey, things will work out just fine. And I'd also tell myself, shave that damn mustache. All right, thanks. <laughs>